Hello friends, welcome to today's Daily Devotion. I'm Kerry Wood, the pastor of the Goldston Methodist Church in Goldston, North Carolina. Today we are concluding our examination of the 15th chapter of Romans, reading verses 23 through 33. Hear now these words. But now there are no further openings for me in these parts, and I have for several years been longing to come to you whenever I may be going on to Spain. For my hope is to visit you on my journey, and then to be sent on my way by you after I have first partly satisfied myself by seeing something of you. Just now, however, I am on my way to Jerusalem to take help to Christ's people there. For Macedonia and Greece have been glad to make a collection for the poor among Christ's people at Jerusalem. Yes, they were glad to do so, and indeed it is a duty which they owe to them. For the Gentile converts who have shared their spiritual blessings are in duty bound to minister to them in the things of this world. When I have settled this matter and have secured for the poor at Jerusalem the enjoyment of these benefits, I will go by way of you to Spain. And I know that when I come to you, it will be with a full measure of the blessing from Christ. I beg you then, friends, by Jesus Christ our Lord and by the love inspired by the Spirit to join me in earnest prayer to God on my behalf. Pray that I may be rescued from those in Judea who reject the faith and that the help which I am taking to Jerusalem may prove acceptable to Christ's people so that God willing, I may be able to come to you with a joyful heart and enjoy some rest among you. May God, the giver of peace, be with you all. Amen. Yesterday we spoke of encouragement and in calling. Well, today we can speak of detours and sidetracks. You may think you know exactly where to go and what to do, but then situations bring up roadblocks, closed doors, changes of plans. What should you do when this happens? Keep going. This is what Paul describes in these verses. He wants to get to Rome. First, he must go to Jerusalem. Now, those are in opposite directions from each other on the map, but they are the same direction in following God's path for Paul's life. What else should we do? Ask for prayer. Don't become too prideful and think that prayer is unnecessary. In fact, do what Paul does. Beg for it. Make it earnest and give specifics. When your requests honor God and His purposes, there is no shame in asking for them. My very first day that I arrived here in Goldston, I asked for prayer. There is no way that I can adequately and appropriately serve as a pastor in this community and out into the world without having people praying for me, for God's blessings, God's power, God's resonance, God's persistence, God's wisdom to fall on me. So I'm going to ask you to pray for me as I pray for you. My friends, this is what the people of God do. We go persistently in God's direction, encouraging one another as we travel, and we pray for each other to reach our destination in Jesus Christ. May God, the giver of peace, be with you as well. Here at Goldson Methodist Church, that's what we're all about, is following 
God's direction, encouraging one another and lifting each other up in prayer. Come be a part of what we are doing. If you are geographically close to us, come be with us at 185 Hillcrest Avenue in the wonderful little town of Goldston, North Carolina. If you can't be with us in person, then join us online. Be a part of the virtual community, even as you stay a part of whatever your physical community that you can be a part of following Jesus Christ. We gather on Sundays for worship at 11 a.m. If you're coming in person, come to Sunday school at 10 a.m. and be a part of what God is doing in our midst so that you can be part of what God is doing wherever your midst may be. And with all that being said, may you go forth in the grace and the love and the peace of Jesus Christ. And I'll see you on Monday for our next daily devotion.